Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the related name attribute when you're working with Django models. So to do this, I'm going to create two pretty simple models. One is going to be for students, another is going to be for subjects, and then the student model will have both a major and a minor on it, and they both will use the subjects, and you can see how a related name comes into play with all of this. So the first thing I'll do is explain what related name is for. So when you're using related name, this means you're working with a relationship, and basically you have a relationship defined on one model, but you can also use that same relationship uh, on the other model that it's referring to. So if you have a subject, for example, this is going to be the model that has the related name on it, whereas the student actually defines the relationship between the student, which will have a major, and the subject. And on a student, I define the, the related name, whereas on the subject, I will use the related name. So this will, of course, make sense once I create an example. So the class is going to be for a student. I want this to be models.model. And I'm going to give the students a name. So name models Charfield to say a max length of 20. And I'll create a stir function or a stir method. Uh, stir and return self.name. So this is actually going to be the same thing for the subject, except it's just going to be called subject instead of student. And now I want to define that relationship. So what I'll do is I will say uh, the student has a major and this will be a foreign key field. And this is going to point towards the subject table. And on delete is going to be models.cascade. So that should be everything I need for this. So now let me go ahead and make the migrations for this. So everything is saved, right? Yeah. So make migrations. And I'll go ahead and open up the shell so we can add some data and take a look at what's going on. So from example.models, I want to import both subject and student. And what I want to do is I want to create a few subjects first. So we'll start with math, uh, subject name equals math. Uh, we'll have engineering name equals engineering. And we'll have one more, let's say, uh, science subject name equals science okay and I can save all of those whoops save and I forgot to actually migrate so I made the migrations I need to migrate okay so I'll import it from the shell again. So from example.models, I want to import subject and student. And I'll just create those examples again. So subject uh, name equals math engineering. And then the final one is science. Okay, so I can save these. And science, save. Okay, so I have the three subjects I want, so now let me create some students. So the first student will be Anthony. And name is Anthony. And for major, I wanna put, um, let's say, math. That was actually my major. And then I'll create a second student, uh, Christina student and her major will also be math now I'll create a third student um, Billy whose major is going to be science okay I can save all of these And then I can take a look at the related name that's generated automatically. So if I take a student, so, or excuse me, if I take a subject, math, and I say student underscore set dot all, 
this will return all the students that have math as a major. And you see that even though there is no relationship defined on the subject model, I still can call sub or student set. And the reason why I can call student set is because of the related name. So the way related name works is like this. Student set. And this is used this way. So math.studentset.all. So this student set is like a pseudo column on the subject. And then by calling it, I can get a list of all of the students that have that relationship. So this is all fine. And I'll show you how this works for science. There's only one student there. And then for engineering, uh, student sets. There's nothing. So now, let me go ahead and remove this temporarily. And if I want to create another one, so minor equals models dot foreign key, it's going to point to the same subject table. It's going to have the same on delete. So let me go ahead and try to make a migration for this. So make migrations and let's see what happens. Okay, so I have some issues and it is saying that it is clashing with the reverse accessor for uh, minor and major. And then let's see if I can scroll back a little bit. Yeah, so those are all the errors. So it says the hint here is to add or change a related name argument to the definition of student.minor or student.major. And the reason why I need to do this is because I have two foreign keys to the same table. And by default, the related name is just the name of the model with an underscore set. But because I have two, I can't use the same name. So I need to add a related name on at least one of them. So I'll add it here, related name equals, and we'll call this uh, minor students. So now I should be able to make the migrations. There might be one other error and we see uh, the default. And what I'll do is I'll just set this to null. So null equals true. And now let me try that again. Okay, so I just made the uh, migrations. So now I can migrate. And let me open up the shell again. So from or Python manage pi shell from example dot models i want to import both student and subject again and what i'll do is i will add a minor to a student so uh, anthony is going to be the first one in the database so this is going to be student dot objects get pk equals one so that should be anthony yeah and I'll also get uh, another subject. So I'll get the second subject in the database. So first, Anthony dot um, major is math, and Anthony dot minor is blank. So uh, subject objects. Uh, let's just get PK equals two. I think that's science. So now I can add science to Anthony. So Anthony.minor equals science. And I can do Anthony.save. And now when I look at the science object, I can look at student set again. So student underscore set dot all. And I get nothing. So that means no students have the major for science. But then if I look at the the minor students, I should say minor students. So this is the related name that I created, dot all, I see Anthony. And if I were to add more um, students to this major, then the query set will be longer. So if I added um, Christina, for example, as uh, science minor, then you would see her name in addition to mine. So just keep in mind that anytime you're using relationships, if you have more than one relationship to the same table or you have a need for a custom related name for whatever reason, like you just don't like 
the name of the model underscore set, you want to do something else, then you need to use the related name attribute. So I think it's pretty easy to understand in Django. Um, if you have any questions about this, um, you can always leave a comment down below. If you're interested in learning more about things that have to do with models in the database in Django for me, you can check out my free course called Django Database Essentials. And it has quite a few videos on how to do various things uh, in Django when it comes to working with databases. And to join the course, you just have to go to prettyprinted.com slash Django data, or you can just click the link in the description below. I'll add it there as well. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And like I said, if you have any questions about this, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.